hello everyone watching this video um, so today I'll be doing a tutorial because you can see that I made a poll in here and I asked you guys what kind of videos that these two videos that I want to make and apparently a lot of you guys said that I should do a tutorial on how to do realistic shading in paint to side and I will actually do both of them because uh, because you know I just I just really want to do both of them even though you guys didn't really comment which humanization as an example but I will ask you guys later on anyways but now let's just get into how to do realistic shading and what I mean by realistic shading is is uh, these kinds of arts and I actually have these two arts which I do a kind of like a you know a realistic shading and both of them I use Psy to do both of these arts and this is probably the best so far because I mean this is my very very first like I never do lineless arts before, but this is like my very first lineless art. And as you can see, there's like this really detailed, except these backgrounds. I start to get lazy. <laughs> GC Zombie Tail as a fan of Ragozi. Um, I'm pretty sure she will see it anyway. I mean, right now she's facing on something um, important for her entire life. But um, yeah. So I'll be doing a character on Sans because for some reason I can do well on these. You can see these. You see this? It's like really good. I don't know how I did it. I don't. I don't really know how I did it. Like, you know, it has a highlight in here, and then there's a shadow here, and it looks really real. So yeah, maybe I'll do both lineless and lineless and F lines. So we're going to file, new, or just press Ctrl N, and you have a new canvas. And this is actually um, how I want it to be. And sometimes I like to make it the resolution bigger because some people said that the bigger the resolution, the better the quality. I don't know. <laughs> like if you had a bigger resolution, no matter like when you zoom very in or zoom very out, it won't be blurry. I don't know, I, I hope it's real, I hope it's... I, I don't know actually, I hope it's real though. So we're going to start a sketch. And you can use any kind of pen you want, I actually only have these ones. Yeah. And I mostly use color, you can actually double click it and you can have a shortcut key, like make your own shortcut key if you want to. But I'm just going to use C, because I think it's better. So if I press B, it will just be my sketch pen. I actually have, don't know what's the difference between the... I mean, I know the difference, but I don't really care. Okay. Oh, is the edge hardness? Okay, fine. Um, I don't really mess around a lot of stuff like these. I'm just, I'm just go ahead and just draw. I don't, I don't care about the brush settings and everything. But okay, we're going to start a sketch and maybe we'll do a sansy boy for all of the things and yeah. So maybe I'll draw two of them in two sands in here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna split it into two parts. I don't know. But I think I will. I'm not sure. Just just I will just see if this video is very, very long. If it's like longer than uh, if it's like really long for me then I would definitely just split into two parts about the Linus version and non-Linus version like normal version okay and Linus version when did I have this? I don't remember <laughs> okay alright so we're going to sketch and I'm going to be sketching my own version of Sans my I'm just gonna copy and paste later okay and I'm just gonna do this so I'm gonna speed this up because I mean, just draw your own sound style of Sansy Boy, because everyone has their own style of Sansy Boy. Yeah. 
this is taking longer than I expect it to be. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I'm not even following my, my lines anymore. Okay. And here's the worst sans ever. I can't do his smell anymore. Damn it. Alright, I'm just gonna do it like this. I mean, I will make it better later. Now the sketch is done, I think I'm going to do um, this version first because it's shorter and... I mean, there's not much a tutorial about this one, okay? I just basically went crazy with this color pencil using multiply and it just draw, color it, and then I use the blur brush and just blur like crazy. Okay, <laughs> that that's all I know. But okay, we're just going to do the lines right now. I think I have forgotten how to draw sands. I can't. Oh. This is taking forever, especially his his face. I mean skull. Whatever. By the way, some of you guys are asking me how do I skeleton so good. I actually don't know. I search for skeleton anatomy and I just learned some of the stuff about the spine and uh, yeah, the way how people draw them, the them skeletons. I never draw sands more than five minutes. Maybe because I'm going too much detail. <laughs> I have already spent like 18 minutes on this recording, <laughs> but yeah, to you guys it's not even 18 minutes, but th that that's okay. So I color picked um, Sans's colors from his official sprite from the game, and right now we're just gonna color it first um, using this kind of like this, this this kind of shading. So we're gonna color first which might take a while. Um, I know you can actually use select and then you can just uh, like, use the magic wand to and just select here. But because there are small lines in here and I hate them so much and I am too lazy to use the select brush and then just do it like this. Okay, I'm, I'm too lazy. So. Yeah, that's, that's why I... Oh, is this an initializing? Is that... No. That's... 
<laughs> yes, that's actually blue. Okay, so that's why I'll just use this and color pick this and make it really large and then just color it whatever I want to. But uh, I mostly always like to make the density a little bit softer. I don't know why, I just like this kind of texture, don't you think? It, it looks nice, doesn't it? No? Okay, fine, you can just use your own, just just don't, just don't listen to me then. <laughs> use your own coloring choice then. I'm sorry if it's very noisy, because I live in the city. So that's why there's like many, many cars and trucks are going by and they're like, they just never shut up. And there we go again, yeah. We, we cut our sands and um, I made a gray background so that I can easily color the white. <laughs> It's just my tip, okay? I know some of you guys software can actually use like a color to replace white and that's really cool. Um, for example, Clip Studio Paint. But okay, so let's get started with the shading. Actually, I forgot one step. You have to click Clipping Blue so that it won't go out. You can see that I was doing like this, but it, it wasn't going out. But if you unclick it, you can see it was a big mess. So I'm going to be using gray. And the only tools that you need to use is uh, blur tool and color tool. Anyway, um, we're going to be using this color tool. Well, you can use any kind of pen you want because I'm pretty sure you guys don't have the same setting as mine. But, right, so basically, what we're gonna do right now, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try to do this again, is melancholy. Yes, melancholy. I, I don't know. But okay, we're going to do that. So we'll see. So, first of all, no, it's gray, not black. So, we're gonna be shading in this entire area. And we're just gonna color this up. Oh, also, you can actually use airbrush too, which is just sort of coming up with this. And we're gonna be using this blur tool, and we're gonna make it a little bit bigger and make good use of the pen pressure. Okay, so this side is very really dark because it was, let's just say, that the the, the lighting, you have to understand the lighting before you shade, okay? Not lighting. Lighting, okay. The lighting, so I was thinking that lighting would be in front of sands, like shining right at sands. It was shining right here, just like this. That doesn't even look like it was, but whew, like this, shining right at him. Okay, you, you get what I mean. There are two. And we're gonna make it use. I'm pressing very lightly so you can see there's a really. Uh, it looks like this. And then you just keep on going, going on. And you can press a little bit harder if you want to. If you press too hard, it will become like this, even though it still has a blur effect, but yeah. So. Kind of look like this. I don't even remember what I did. And make good use of the density for the eraser too. And airbrush. Whoops, not this color. God damn it. I don't even know what I did. I, I forgot how I did that actually. <laughs> and you can make a little bit slight darker and just color the inner side this and then use the blur tool again to you know this is not the blur tool sorry I was pressing the wrong shortcut key that's why just kept on doing that and blur like crazy that's what I did there's no such kind of magic in anything it's just crazy craziness blur just whatever you want just keep on doing it and get a little bit more and more and darker whoops get a little bit more and more darker and then use the blur tool make good use of your pressure sensitivity 
and make good use of your pen pressure. Um, I'm pressing really lightly. I know you guys start thinking like, why don't you just use the blur tool really small and then just blur it like this? Well, if you use a really small size, a very small size of the of the blur tool, the effect doesn't go out really well. I mean, it works for really small places. I mean, it actually works, but to me, it it is not good. Okay. So that's why I like to use my pen pressure just like really big. You know, like it makes more if I want to. I'm just gonna need more. You know, you can see it's slightly from getting dark and a little more lighter. Okay. Yeah, okay. And we're just gonna continue doing it. So for his skull. His skull. We're gonna use the color again. And the shade right here. Whoa, no. I'm just gonna color it like this. It looks like he has a beard, I'm so sorry. But it really doesn't look like it. And we're gonna erase some of the parts in here because we're gonna shade them later. I mean, we're gonna shave the teeth. Shave the teeth, not shave. <laughs> I always said shave. I mean, it's shade. Yeah, it looks weird, but that's fine because we have the magic tool called the blur tool, and we can just do like this, very lightly. And yeah, be careful not to blur the other places. <laughs> So, okay, let's just say we got a Mr. Circle here. Wait, we got a Mr. Circle, and we want to shade him with multiply. Multiply, just like this. I'm gonna use a couple So, okay, we're gonna shade this baby. So, if you make it really small, this will, this will actually happen, and it's gonna take forever to blur like this and you can see how there's many little lines everywhere so that's why I don't really recommend using a really small blur tool even though the more you did this way the more blending it will have but it's just a waste of time you know, okay you get it it's just waste time so that's why uh, I'm gonna be doing this way so also, if you have a really, so I'm just gonna make about like 30 size, and then I'm just gonna lightly do this, just like this. I mean, it still have lines, but just get a little bit gentle. If you're Mr. Tablet, you don't know how much you have thought this, or how. Uh, yeah, and you have a nice effect, you can see that. And I know it doesn't really s still have a little bit of lines, but you can keep on doing it until, see, it's gone. There we go. And on the other hand, if you press too hard on the tablet, you're hurting this. Not just only you're hurting Mr. Tablet, I'm not calling you that way. <laughs> okay. Not just you're gonna hurt the tablet, but if you press really hard, just like this, it will have this kind of effect, which does not look good at all. You can see that. 
I mean, it looks pretty good, but it, it doesn't even look like you're shading it anymore, so... Yeah, if you're pressing really hard, this happens. It looks like a moon now. Yay! <laughs> Alright. That actually, that actually looks nice. <laughs> Alright. Back to some more shading. I'm gonna be uh, speeding up this process because it's basically the same. Like, everything is basically the same. So we got lines in here, see, we got lines in here, and basically you're just gonna follow the lines like this and slightly blur it. Do not cover the whole thing or else it will just lose, everything was lost. So be careful not to touch the lines, just, I mean you have to touch the lines but just not too much. Just go more and more deeper. You can see the effect. And again, make good use of your pen pressure thing. <laughs> and you can see the slight effect. Okay, now for the highlights, we're gonna create another layer, we can group again, and we're gonna change the mode to overlay, and we're gonna choose the color white, yeah. So then, we want to try and do this effect, okay? So we're gonna use a white, and just outline this to here and here. Again, use the blur tool to help just slightly a little. I actually don't know how to do it. I forgot how I did it already. But maybe we can use the same method we did. Let's try if I can do it again. And then we're just gonna I think that's how I do it. I don't remember how I do it. I know. And then we're gonna add more a little bit of here. Yeah, I think that's how I did it. Alrighty, now um, we're going to be doing the shade for the clothing.
Just gonna blend more slightly a little bit. And a little bit here. A little bit here. And there we have it. We got a realistic sand, see boy. Okay, I am going to split this in two parts. So part so coming next, part two might be in here. Who knows? Or maybe a little bit smaller. I don't know actually. But um it will be it might appear in here. Subscribe to see more. Um, just part two coming up soon. We will be doing this kind of like minus art. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Yeah, the sands will be left for minus. Okay. I hope this helps you. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and just. Yeah, subscribe for some more videos, maybe like this, or speed paint videos, or maybe animations, animatics, whatever. Whoops, I dropped my pen. <laughs> but I'll see you guys next time.